Alrighty, hey guys, what's up? It's Ocean the Skater here. I'm starting a new type of, I guess, series on my YouTube channel, and what we're gonna be doing is covering a lot of bucket, or not not bucket, but server and bunch of related questions, and I'm gonna be doing tutorials for them. So one of the first things I really want to do is some stuff to do with server addresses and server IPs. So a server address looks like this. A server IP looks like this. All right. So this is just a test server that I have set up uh, by the owner of Professional Zen just to kind of do this. So what we're going to be doing today is setting up a server address for it. So what you'll need is a domain. So you can find a domain on many sites such as godaddy.com and domains.com and I like to use godaddy because it has everything I need and I haven't really <laughs> I haven't really looked at too many others because I know that this works and I'm fine with paying for it and I know some sites are a bit cheaper but I'm not sure if they have everything we need uh, before you buy a domain just make sure that the host that you're going with supports a host and SRV or service and I'll show you what those are in a second. So we're just going to take a look at domains real quick just to kind of get an idea of prices. You can see I've already searched that up before. And uh, we've got tmsocean.com for $10. And they're usually around $13 for .com, but this one is on sale for some reason. Um, .net is also $10 normally on its own if I search that up right now. If I do an actual uh, TLD, top level domain, which is this end part right here, then you can see $10, but there's all these all these other ones too. So .org is $8, .co is 10 and there's there's lots. There's just so many. Like there's show more results. There's there's too many, okay? Some are really expensive though. So I like to just get a nice .net domain after you make your account and buy one, then you can go to visit my account and then manage domains. And we're gonna go to TM Shack. I'm not buying that TMS Ocean one right now. I might eventually, but now we're going to go into the DNS zone file and if you hit add record you'll see that this window pops up right here and if I were to do SRV then this is just confusing like I can't I can't even use this I like to use the classic DNS manager so what we have right here is you're able to add your records underneath instead of so you can see your previous ones and kind of compare so if you already have um, a server I just set up then it's easy to kind of copy a lot of the information so there are two different ways that we can do this. One is for people with default port and one is for people that don't have default port. So with this, we don't have default port. So if I did have default port, all I'd have to do is go right here and we'll say we want it to be pro.tmshack.net and then paste the IP right here, hit save, and then you just connect to pro.tmshack.net and you're good. However, since we don't, have default port then what we actually have to do is kind of take another step so I'm just going to change this we want our final product to be pro.tmshack.net so we're going to change this to PX which stands for pro zen or professional zen and we're going to save that real quick just to have it saved we don't need to do that right now but we're just going to do that just in case so we have PX set up with the IP now we've got to set up the port we've got to add the port in so that you don't have to type px.tmshack.net colon 60174. We just want it all in one, like my server up here, which I actually have default port, but you get the idea. So since you, or sorry, if you don't have default port, then you want to scroll down and make sure you have the SRV down here. Oh, sorry if I didn't mention before, this is the A or the host or whatever you want to call it, and A record. So. The SRV down here, I like this quick add because you can see that I have all these previous entries or previous records so I can copy from them. So we've got the Minecraft ones right here. So we're going to put underscore Minecraft in the service. We're going to put underscore TCP in the protocol. The name, this is what you want your final product to be. So we're going to put pro in because we want it to be pro.tmshack.net. The priority is going to be zero. The weight is going to be five. The port is going to be our server port right here. And the target is going to be what we put in uh, up here, which is px. So we're going to put px.tmshack.net. And we're going to go ahead and save that zone file and hit OK. So now 
we're gonna I'm just gonna add in let's see I'll add server I'll do pro exam pro zen a and we're gonna put in px dot I'm just show, I'm just showing you this so don't follow this part yet so if I add that in and I'm gonna add one more we're gonna do pro xen srv and we're gonna do pro dot tm shack I just want to show you the guys the difference so there's kind of three different steps if you don't have default port so right here we hit edit you can see that there's the IP and the port we're gonna hit cancel this is if we just set up the a host with the px then you can see we have to type in the port now if we go the one step further and set up the SRV right here and right here then you'll notice just pro.tmshack and that's because we put pro right here in the name so that's all set up and it's all good to go so I'll connect to the one with the IP I'm just gonna connect to all of them real quick just to show you so we're on this server we can disconnect and this is just a test server of the actual professional Zen server so we'll connect to this one too, same server again, and of course when we connect to the final one, it's still going to be the same server. And I just want to show you guys that just to just to let you guys know that we're we're connecting to the same server. So that's all you have to do to set it up. If you have any questions at all, leave them down in the comment section below. If there's anything you want assistance with, such as maybe setting up a Bungie server or maybe setting up um, economy to be cross server or something like that, or maybe your ban list cross server then just let me know and I'm going to do a video on those. Well, actually, either way, I'm going to be probably doing those. But you get the idea. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace.